fiddle around town. Today we are going behind the scenes. It's all about the making of Celtic Purple. We have dancers, we have photographers, we have musicians, we have Vita. What more could you ask for? Hey there, trying to get the proper uh, <laughs> teapot, but they're all coffee pots. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go wash that. But if it's right side up. There are endless talks about the creative process. Caddy likes to prepare ahead of time and then let inspiration decide what the song needs in the studio. I tend to improvise and jam endlessly, so I do appreciate guidance. If you want to see a star in the sky, you just watch you don't watch the star, you watch on the side of the star. Oh, you get a little more. It's, it's and it works? Yeah. So how does that apply to music? And the fact that if you listen too much to the to what you're focusing on, like for instance, one violin, you're going to hear it much more <laughs> than you're filming. Kelly always has music in her head. And even while traveling, her mind is thinking about the next song coming up. I call her DJ Caddy for that reason. That and her flashy outfits, of course. When you want to record here in New York City, we do recommend the beautiful Big Orange Ship Studios in Brooklyn. Here you could benefit from the multiple talents, advice and patience of Chris, the owner and engineer. And not to mention direct access to the most expensive coffee in town, just downstairs. Every musician brings something of their own to the music. I've been really blessed to work with Vita for over eight years. He's from Paris, but he has played all over the world, and he really brings something special to the music. And so now, you're ready for your next level. <laughs> yes. So? The next level is, if you can, this is cute, this is perfect as it is. Yes. Um, but if you want it to be even more perfect, perfecter, okay. if you will. Perfect. Um, let, uh, let the audience see the moment when you have the idea to move. Um, stand here, like where you're dancing in. Okay. Um, anytime you, wait, don't, don't look. 
anytime you feel, stop, don't look at me, you still want to turn back and look at me. Yeah. Anytime you feel the urge at the end of this piece to turn around and look back here, this. <laughs> think of this face. <laughs> Nobody's back there. It's curtains and stage hands. No one cares. <laughs> because we want to see whatever that moment, the moment you're having there is absolutely right. We want to see it. I see. Like, but you're, what you're doing is actually perfect. You're just facing the wrong way when you're doing it. Okay. okay so. so you turn around and he's not there, and then you can have your moment of, you, let, you can let it land a little bit. Oh, he's not there. You didn't come with me? Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to play with me. No, 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 you never think that. Okay, okay. You, your thought is never, it's, oh, it's, okay. that's a negative thought. Oh, okay. yeah, it's always a positive thought. So the positive thought okay. is, he doesn't know he, I want him to come along. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's Dora choices. Never negative. It's always you oh. find the positive choice, even when it seems like it's something negative. Yeah. Vita, you have to fight the urge to play the guitar for her. In the end, you play you're playing the guitar for her. In the end, you have to fight that urge. Yeah. yeah. So you have to play it for them. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like you're playing with her for them. For the yes. yeah. Because it's because it because it, 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 you're you're playing it you're playing the guitar to her. Yeah. You're playing it, but you should be playing it with her to them. <laughs> real dancers for this. This is Alcy Kalawamba, who choreographed this part to Celtic Purple. This is Lily China who choreographed this to When the Battle is Over. That tune also features Isaac Alderson who is playing the Illin Pipe.
always need a team of people to work on projects like this. Steve Campbell has been my photographer for years. I don't know how he does it. I'm not one of those people that likes having my picture taken. But he makes it super fun. We get great photos. Steve always wants to know what the concept of the record is. My concept is usually to try and look as slim as possible. <laughs> Steve doesn't think that's a concept. For the Irish coffee CD, we knew we needed coffee photos. For Celtic Purple, we spent the day in Red Hook, Brooklyn. So what's going on? Not much. We just finished, I think it would be our sixth caddy shoot for a CD and press work. And it's very exciting, once again, doing it in Brooklyn and uh, successful. Caddy lives here and I, I used to live here, so we both have kind of on our day-to-day -day basis see a great number of uh, options when it comes to photo shoots on days that we're not shooting we kind of put, make mental notes to ourselves when we pass certain areas and we'll say definitely come back there and do it later and so that's definitely what red hook was to me to me red hook is a little more laid back than most of new york it's right on the water it's really colorful and it has these cool cobblestone streets what i remember about the day we took the cd photos was the wind it was Super windy. You know those fans that models have? We didn't need one. And we have a ton of crazy hair shots. Bloopers that didn't make it on the CD. But at the end of the day, we got this one. And that was it. It's on the cover. It was time to go to Boston Harbor Scottish Fiddle School. I met Mary Abdill, who is a pianist. She specializes in Scottish music. We recorded a whole bunch of tunes and two of them are on the Celtic Purple CD with violin and piano. Before recording any material, we think it's a good idea to try the tunes in concert and gauge the reaction. Live playing gives us instant gratification. You play and it's gone. Recording gives us the possibility to hear back our experimentations and make decisions. This can be a double-edged sword. The only thing I feel that is weird is at the end when I say what about. So this time you should maybe not say what about then. Thank you, Northway Park, and Chuck Drake. So we're here with Chuck Drake. And I want to welcome you here to Northwest Park. Uh, we've been doing this music series for the last 20 years, and we do a mixed uh, bag of music, uh, great Celtic music, fiddle music, uh, blues, bluegrass, folk music, and our patrons just seem to enjoy every note that these fine performers put out. You should come out and visit us sometime. She says you're more than a little pulse of wonder Mission of the end of my shame Last year, do we have any runners in the audience? Yeah, just one, a couple. Well, I should I should say really jogging because I run very slowly. But I decided to sign up for a, my first 5K last year, and I was looking online to get advice for your first 5K. And every single site said, "Don't worry, you won't be the slowest one to finish." And I remember thinking, well, first of all, they haven't seen me run, and second of all, it's not quantum physics, but somebody. Has to be last. 
And then I was reading that they had some races where they have specific people that are supposed to be last so that nobody feels like they're last. It's true. And I thought, well, if the music business doesn't work out, that's something I could do because I run slow, I like to run slow, and I like to play slow. big part of the show. When you're at home working on something, you don't know if it's going to translate or not. You know that moment you walk on stage and play it. And you can revise from there on. Celtic blessing, you've probably heard it. We'd like to leave you with that. May the road rise to meet you. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. Rains fall softly on your fields until we.
May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall softly on your fields. Until we meet again, may he hold you in the palm of his hand.